up everybody how you doing how you doing how you doing i hope you're well now i learned that we're going to create and create and create all this content and you guys will, will watch and watch and watch until you get tired now uh in this video i, I made cake on a sigiri cake without an oven you guys you can see that my pictures is part of the process you know so uh, at this point i'm showing you the ingredients that i have that is red velvet uh, it is chocolate and then vanilla so i was supposed to choose between chocolate between the ingredients blue band okay sorry the flavors and um, as you can see or oh, you will see in the video you get to see what i chose eventually those are eggs of course eggs really now azam mouth purpose flour any flour any flour that is salt and then sugar boil mulao ming oh, uh, uh, what is it called mulao mingling stick it's what i was using to beat my eggs and mix everything so yeah at this point normally people start with butter and then beat the butter with the sugar but i was watching this tutorial where the eggs and the sugar made everything much easier i've struggled so much to learn to make to bake these cakes i am self-taught no one has actually taught me i watch uh, some youtube tutorials and when i'm inspired i actually bake on inspiration you know so i watched this video and this chick this lady started her process like this so you put the eggs that was one cup of sugar actually uh, half full the last time I used a full cup the cake was too sweet so I went a little bit you know less with the sugar so after mixing the eggs and the sugar you add the milk you beat it until it's whitish you know it's important that the sugar and the eggs have actually dissolved so here I'm putting one spoon of vanilla you need the vanilla to kill that egg smell or whatever flavor it is that you intend to use and then stir as you can see in the video i think it may be just a touch words but eh, eh, god gave us months to speak so let us speak in these videos so i'm using two i'm going to be using two cups of flour so that's the first one you want to add one cup at a time you know you're supposed to sieve it in case there are those uh, other other um, particles left but i didn't see so just put that was the first cup you want to start as you put that um you don't have lumps and everything in the in the dough yeah so that's what's happening in the video right now you start then here i'm measuring my second cup you want to start as you put you don't want to first put and then start yeah so you measure your other cup and mix uh I, I i i i learned that you if you decide to use one cup like of a particular size use just that for everything this is our result after stirring everything else at this point i realized that i hadn't put baking flour so i put it at that point now the butter i melt the butter and then pour the butter in there melted and then stir I continue to stir until I have something consistent like a good mixture and everything put your hot butter and then stir 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 until it is all mixed up like all together and everything is just perfectly put together yeah that is me stirring and that is what the result looks like my first cake actually looks like that because I just woke up and just did no flavors, no nothing. And it was beautiful. It was really nice cake. So what I'm doing is separating because I want a marble cake. I want a, color, a, a cake that is multicolored, not just one color. So I separate and add red velvet. Red velvet to the, the red velvet flavor to this other half or quarter or whatever that I put on the side. Yeah. I pour that in and stir. Mix, mix until the you know the mixture is consistent. Again, you want to make sure it is <clears throat> all in, all in, all perfectly in. Yeah. So 
I loved the color. My brother kept saying, it smells so nice. Oh my God, Rachel, this, this, this flavor, what, what? So then what I want is to get different colors. So I, I, I separated the white one again to have a layer of the white, then the red, then the white, then the red again. So this is the first um, mixture of the red to the, to the white. I don't know if it is white or the vanilla, the first one. Yes, yeah, so that is how it looks like. You don't stir it, just leave it how it is. Yeah, then you get the other white one and then do the same. You want it to look, you know, pretty and beautiful and all those things. This is something I also watched somewhere, but for the way I watched it from, it was actually chocolate. So I asked everyone at home what they wanted. They want chocolate or they wanted the red velvet and they chose red. So that is why they went with the red. Mind you, this is a try and error. Like I've done this before, but try and error. Now this is the baking pan. You oil it with blue band, then put some flour to make sure that when you when you when your cake is ready, it's not sticking to the pan. So you pour the mixture in there. I was supposed to do the mixing in the bowl. I realized that a bit late, but yeah, it still gave us something close to whatever it is we were looking for. So yeah, that is me putting the cake mixture in the baking pan. Remember, we are using no oven. We're using a sigiri, a charcoal stove. Yeah, so that is how it looks like finally. So at this point, I am rushing out to get the sand. Yeah, there's building oil in, in our bucket, so sand was easy to get. That is the charcoal stove. You put the sand in the in the cephalia, in the saucepan, and then put the um, saucepan on the sigiri. So yeah, an hour later, we had cake. I covered with the first cover and then tried to burn it. If you look closely, there's a burning on top, so I had to change it to this particular cover because this cover was a bit bigger. So I put Lumonde. If you can see, there is some Lumonde there to hold the cover onto the, the safe layer so that there is not so much air going into the cake and, you know, bringing us issues now my cake broke i don't know what i did that made the cake br break but if you so guys this is how our cake is yes uncle you put them on oh yeah cake cake so it actually turned out nice, you guys. I'm mm, very are you excited. Just so My siblings sweet. just won't stop wanting. What? Eat. You want to eat? You want to cut? Yes, cut. Happy cut. Bring you. Okay, hands. we're going to cut the cake and see how it looks like on the inside. I've made cakes before inside the linga So let's just put fingers across that this one is an okay cake. Thank you. You have here switched off. Adi? I'm ready. It turned out so fine. I'm going to get a this than the oven mm -hmm. the baking pans that i have um back at the other place so the you, cake mommy. doesn't try so well like the cake is so slim also i've seen some other shows where it's okay for for the cake to be slim but i want my cake to rise so i think oh, i prefer the sigiri style than the um, the what the oven style so yeah thank you guys for watching till the end Thank you for being here. It means a whole lot. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye.